Hi and welcome to my current project, Teeny Delivery Truck Tempo A400 in 1235 scale from MiniArt. This is fresh kit from this box. So what was done in previous uh, video? Well, most difficult part of the work, assembling of the driver's cabin, engine section, interior section and everything were painted. There is an option, we can open or close hood of this cap, because I integrated that uh, small magnets. This section is fragile and it was difficult in assembling, so it's not perfect. One of the doors is opened. As you see, the rear part of this vehicle is also assembled. So let's return a little bit in time and talk uh, how it was built and also let's assemble cargo body and uh, containers that have to be set inside it. Actually I decided to start my work from boxes, I love how they look like. Cool wooden texture, there are three boxes in this kit. Uh, divide parts that belongs to them one by one, then after extra plastic removing I start connection process. We have uh, fine connection points, so it's easy to build these boxes. Extra thin glue helps me a lot to assemble them together. But have to be careful, I want to avoid uh, fingerprints on these wooden plates. Such a box, you can leave it in open position and put some goods inside of it if you want. I will close it. It will be like on models box art. So first container ready, two more left, and here they are. Another box is the biggest one, and the third box has cube form, and it has an option. Uh, you can put single plank on each side of the box, or you can make cross planking on it. Or even you can mix uh, this planking in any way. I decided to make cross planking everywhere on this box. So here we have such a guys, three cargo containers. Okay, that was uh, the most interesting part of this project, let's go home. Okay, okay, cargo body. This plate is also have to be wooden, but we don't see here wooden textures on it. Maybe it produced from well prepared wooden materials. I added here nooses from inbox metallic parts, cut them from the plate, then bend it with the help of the tools and my table. After that installed them on our rear plate with the usage of super glue gel. Then we have two beams which will be also connected to the rear section with wheels of our vehicle. Size of the cargo body, construction of nooses and of these uh, sides allows to make them workable. Fix it and something like that. Well, I make one of these walls in open position. If we talk about rear drive section of this car, it's very simple, consists from several details and two wheels. Only one additional thing that uh, can make some problems for, for us is such a wiring, but there is an uh, detailed scheme in instruction with this wiring, so you can repeat this process. So I drill some holes, bent metallic wire 1 mm thickness and trying to put it according to, the, to its position. To fix that wire I use super glue and also some photoetched parts from inbox plate. So many moments later, after the first layers of the base coat, we received this cargo body in green color, the same tone as I use for a cabin. One of the side walls is still operational, but it will be in open position. Anyway, small details painted in black, uh, such as license plate and handler for rear lights, and our three boxes with the cargo. Well, actually, they are empty. One of them with uh, some brown experiments. <clears throat> actually, we can cover everything with a gloss coat, but I wanted to add some weathering to cargo body. Base green color, but light it a little bit with a sand. 
let's make scratching effects on these wooden surfaces. Simply with a dry brush technique, have to be moderate with this because my cabin has no weathering at all. Something like this, additional layer but with a brown color, the brown color gives us a feeling that this surface is from wood. And stronger effects inside the body, well, we can achieve the same result with the oil paints, I think enough. Ok, let's repeat the same chipping uh, procedure with the boxes. Light yellow color mixed with uh, white. The same dry brush technique. In the end we receive something like this. I added here the same one more layer of the brown color. And grey a little bit. Also I think uh, this uh, nooses have to be painted in gun metal. Now we can hear a fine layer of glossiness, put decals and wash as usual. Ok, here is our magic glossiness, our shiny boxes and cargo body as well. Cup of water, decals and other stuff. My task to do the same uh, thing as on a print. I think I will start from the smaller decals like license plate. A uh, process is common, as usual. Prepare surface, prepare decals and put them on their places. In details you can uh, see this project on one of the previous episodes with the Italian L3 Contro Caro armored vehicle. But uh, let's repeat this topic, why not? So decal, put it into the water for half a minute approximately, meanwhile apply liquid for decals, then if decal gives up, you can relocate it on our surface. You can do it in many ways with the help of your fingers or tools. Ok, now let it dry up a little. When ready, let's remove extra liquid and water from the decal and press our decal a little bit. Be careful on this stage, well actually on all of the stages. If something goes wrong, add uh, a water on decal and make repositioning of it. We can see that it starts to repeat uh, the relief of the body and that's good. Let it dry up, well at least for 10 minutes I think. And the same procedure for the box. Only this the biggest box has its own decals. Ok, as you see a lot of decals are left uh, here and it's ok, because uh, our kit has 5 painting options. Some of these decals can be used for dioramas, for example. And finally I add alcohol based liquid to fix the decal. Cargo body and boxes were covered with another one layer of the gloss varnish. So I fix all decals, protect them from uh, future effects and almost the last painting step, washing. For body I use ordinary liquid dark brown wash, but for boxes we will use oil paints. In the same way as it was during the building of Zero Interceptor in 1 to 48 scale. From Edward you can watch that video if you want. So I mixed black and brown oils, achieve uh, such, a, hmm, such a sink and cover with it my boxes. I do it with a thin layer and after that I can remove uh, extra oil of it. By removing extra oils you control the weathering effect. You can also use other tones of oil for such a washing process. Or you can repeat the procedure for several more times, if it needed. This process is much faster if we use ordinary liquid washes and it works much better on white surfaces, especially with such textures like these wooden surfaces. So our boxes became even more realistic now, well, in my opinion, leave them to dry up. Well, at least till next day. And then I cover everything with a fine layer of matte varnish. 
Finally we can reveal the result of our previous work with boxes and cargo body. Protect it with a fine layer of mud coat. I think that these boxes look quite realistic. I like them. And the body... good as well. Hopefully it's not too much weathered with the different effects, because the cabin looks as a new one, so we need to keep some balance in whole model. Before the cargo body will be installed, I need to put some details that were prepared behind the scenes. Ok, I fixed all small issues and finally this model completed. Whew. Here is my old gypsum plate. Uh, let's put on it our tempo. In the end I added small amount of dust pigments on the wheels mostly painted rear lights and polished a little cabin. Let's put a big boxes inside the body, something like that. And the smaller one, well, something like this. Let it put here. Let's imagine that this box uh, would be taken by the next truck. So, while you're watching the results, let's make short summary about this project and model in general. Interesting, unusual, well detailed and good in work, kit in 1 to 35 scale, such as rewheeled delivery truck. Not very difficult and long project, but it's very easy to make um, a lot of mistakes here, especially during painting process. Maybe you see some of them. Anyway, I'm very happy of this project and of such a result, especially how boxes looks like. Huh, maybe I need to paint nails on them. Well guys, I hope you enjoy, you can leave any feedback or make a subscription if you want. In next video, hmm, I think it will be interesting project. Anyway, have a nice modeling, good luck and bye!